Okay, dadako naman tayo sa paggamit ng Lewis symbol sa pag-draw ng Lewis structures ng covalent compounds. But bago ulit tayo uh, mag-solve ng problems, balikan muna natin. Ano nga ba ang covalent bonding? So, covalent bonding is the type of chemical bond that forms when two atoms share electrons. So, covalent compounds are compounds formed via the sharing of electrons between atoms. So, ang isa pong tip na maibibigay ko sa inyo, ang covalent compounds naman po, nagpo-form sila whenever you are combining two non-metallic species. So, for example, pag pinag po ninyo ang carbon at hydrogen to make methane or CH4, that forms a covalent compound. Kapag pinag nyo po ang hydrogen at oxygen to form water, Ang oxygen at hydrogen po ay parehas non-metallic. So, therefore, they will form a covalent compound. Kapag pinag-combine ninyo ang nitrogen at hydrogen to form ammonia, ang nitrogen at hydrogen, both are non-metallic, they will form a covalent compound. So, yun po ang tip na ating papakatandaan. Ngayon, magsagot na tayo ng mga halimbawa. So, una, Isulat or i-draw ang Lewis structure para sa hydrogen gamit ang Lewis symbols. Gawin din ito in the case of a chlorine molecule. At panghuli, isulat ang Lewis structure ng hydrochloric acid. Okay, so we just tackled the textbook definition of a covalent bond. Pero ito, ito po tip sa mga teachers. Um, kapag i-introduce po natin itong topic na ito, you just start with some of the most basic examples. So, what I mean with basic would be diatomic uh, molecules. So, simulan natin sa case ng hydrogen molecules. Ano bang meron sa hydrogen? So, it has two hydrogen atoms. At ano nga ba uli ang uh, atomic number ng oxygen? It has an atomic number of one. Meaning, in, in a neutral um, hydrogen atom, it has one electron and its electronic configuration should be equal to one is one so gagawin muna natin is ating i sulat ang lewis symbol ng dalawang hydrogen atom okay gusto ko pong tingnan ninyo ang valence so so ang, ang hydrogen is very special because it only has one elect, uh, one orbital which is the one s orbital and at the moment um for a neutral hydrogen atom it has like one electron so it, it's unpaired kasi ang stable configuration ng hydro, ng ng isang hydrogen atom for uh, should be um equivalent to that of helium so magiging stable lang po ang hydrogen kapag ang one s orbital ay merong maximum occupancy of two electrons so again isoelectronic with Helium. So you are combining two hydrogen atoms in the process. So wala kang metal na magdo-donate. Wala kang um, element na mag-form ng cation at magdo-donate ng electron. Instead of one hydrogen atom transferring one electron to another hydrogen atom, what they do is they share this electron. Kung so, rewrite po natin yan, There is an electron pair being shared by the two hydrogen atoms. This pair of electrons is what we call a covalent bond. And whenever we are writing Lewis structures or Lewis symbols, one covalent bond is equal to two electrons. Or this is what we call a bonding pair. So we can rewrite this um, um, in this form. So hydrogen having a single bond with another hydrogen atom. So the question is, can it form another bond? No. Okay, kasi kailangan lang talagang mapuno ng oxygen yung 1s orbital. And so since pag nag-share siya ng electrons, yung 1s orbital nito is already um, sharing um, two electrons with the other. So stable na siya. And one very important rule po sa pagluwat, pagsulat ng Lewis structure, hydrogen can only have one bond. It can only form a maximum of one covalent bond. Kapag po ang hydrogen na ginawa na isin, ah, pag structure po ng compound na sinulat ng estudyante nyo ay merong dalawa o tatlong bonds around hydrogen, eh pwede nyo na po silang inominate sa Nobel Prize kasi hindi po yun pwede. Impossible po yun. Ano po? 
Okay, so ang pangalawa naman po natin ay example sa Cl2 molecule or a diatomic chlorine uh, molecule. So, Cl2, it is composed of two chlorine atoms. So, bakit ba nagpo-form tong compound na to? So, that can be explained by its lowest structure. So, um, again, di ko na, uh, since nagawa na natin example kanina, rin, kanina yung chlorine, chlorine has seven valence electrons around it. Um, and in order for it to become stable, sabi nga po natin, kailangan niya mag-gain ng isang electron. So you are combining atoms of the same element. So wala kang driving force eh, para mag to ng electron at donate dito sa kabila. Kasi chlorine does not form a stable cation. What happens is, since meron kang isang unpaired electron sa kada chlorine atom, these electrons would be shared by the two chlorine atoms. So in the process... You form, or you share, since you share an electron pair, you form a covalent bond. So that covalent bond is comprised of two electrons shared between or shared by the two chlorine atoms. So, ito ang Lewis dot symbol for a chlorine molecule. So, magbilang tayo ng electrons around each chlorine atom. So, for this chlorine atom, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, meron kang walong electrons around the first chlorine atom. How about for the second one? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, it also has 8 electrons around it. So, by forming, uh, by sharing one electron to form a chlorine-chlorine covalent bond, you are forming a Cl2 molecule or a chlorine molecule um, where each chlorine atom has an octet of electrons. So, okay, this is a neutral molecule. So, share yung electron between the two chlorine atoms. So, same driving force po. So, same reason why um, uh, chlorine is forming this, in this case, a covalent bond. It needs to gain or to achieve or to, to have a complete octet of electrons. So, iba lang po yung mechanism ng pag-form ng bond. So, in the case of sodium chloride, sodium donates an electron to chlorine to form a chloride ion. So, that way, walo din yung electrons around it. In this case po, since sharing ng electron, ang kailangan lang natin tandaan is the bond between them is equally shared. Narito naman ang graphical representation ng pag-form ng covalent bond sa pagitan ng dalawang chlorine atoms. So kung makikita ninyo sa left side, meron tayong dalawang neutral chlorine atoms na merong pitong electrons sa kanyang third shell. So kung mapapansin din ninyo, sa third shell meron silang tig-isang unpaired electron. And so, by combining or by sharing these unpaired electrons and by forming a covalent bond, what forms is a diatomic chlorine molecule where both chlorine atoms achieve a complete octet of electrons. So, ayan po, ano po, medyo straightforward siya. So, huwag kakalimutan ng ating electronic configuration at ang pagbibilang ng valence electrons. Again, yung valence electrons ang nagdedictate ng mechanism or mode of chemical bonding. Okay, so ang third um, example po natin is hydrochloric acid or uh, hydrochloric acid molecule, so HCl. So paano ba nagpo-form yung bond dito? Is this a covalent or an ionic compound? So nakapumalito yung mga estudyante, no? kasi yung hydrogen is in the same group as our group 1 um, metals. However, Hydrogen is not a metallic element. So, it tends to form covalent bonds unless it is combined with group 1 elements. So, for example, sodium hydride. So, in that particular case, it's an ionic compound. But once, um, but when, when hydrogen is combined with another non-metal, they tend to form covalent compounds. So, nakita ko po ang Lewis symbol ng hydrogen at ang Lewis symbol of a neutral chlorine atom. So, ang sabi nga po natin, hydrogen can only form one bond because it only has like one orbital which is the 1s orbital and th in the case of chlorine it needs to gain or it needs to be able to complete its octet of electron so in this particular example these unpaired electrons will come together to form a covalent bond so in this part so it will so this electron pair will be shared between hydrogen and chlorine so ito po ang Lewis dot symbol for 
Um, hydrochloric acid. Bay lang po tayo. So, ilan yung number ng electrons dapat around hydrogen for it to be stable? Sabi natin 2. So, magbilang tayo. 1, 2. So, in the case of chlorine, ilan dapat ang electrons around it for it to be stable? It should have a complete octet. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, kapag ipinasulat po sa atin ang Lewis structure ng hydrochloric acid, it should actually look like this. So, hydrogen having a single bond with a chlorine atom and the chlorine atom should actually have six electrons around it or three and three lone pairs around it so these are like non-bonding pairs so wala si so nandoon lang sila sa paligid ng chlorine okay so klaro po ano po so again tatandaan natin one covalent bond is equal to two electrons um there are some systems out there or some molecules out there where um in order for us to complete the octet of one of the atoms, they need to form multiple bonds. So, kailangan, so minsan merong double covalent bond, merong triple covalent bond. So, yun yung gagawin natin sa mga susunod na example.